What's up guys, and today we are taking my mother's Yukon and her boyfriend's truck to a shop today because the transmissions have went out on them too. So we're getting them fixed, we're taking them to the shop to get them fixed. And then mine, it will be getting fixed this weekend too, but I'm taking them to a shop and, uh, but I'm personally gonna help him. So uh, we're gonna get everything done and y'all will eventually see the Tahoe back running. Thank gosh, finally, Tahoe will be running. Everything should be fine. Hopefully, I can find out where the oil leads coming from. I'm hoping it's the rear main because we're going to go ahead and change it too. So, we're going to go ahead and change it. And then, uh, after we change it, if it's still leaking, then I think it's the oil pressure plug or sensor up on the top of the motor. So, uh, if it's still leaking, after that, I'm going to change that. And we're just going to go from there. So, like I said, we will have the Tahoe back up and running this weekend. Hopefully, if we don't have any, we don't run into any issues or anything like that. And she'll be done and getting going again. Y'all will see more content of the Tahoe. And, uh, yeah, uh, I did put a lot more on top of the Tahoe. I'll have to show y'all in a little while um, whenever I get to where I'm going. Um, but I did mount a lot more on the top. But I'm thinking about getting the bigger one for a It's not too big, but it's something that's bright enough that I can see overhead in it where it can shine over the truck or whatever. Uh, so, like I said, y'all will be seeing more content of the Tahoe. Like I said, I'm driving this Yukon up to the shop right now. I've got the record behind me with the, my truck and the other truck that's going to the same shop. This truck is going to. Um, but yeah, I'm slowly getting there. This transmission is not the best. It's uh, this one's a 2000 and I think 11, and it's got the six speed transmission in it. So I'm trying to keep it at a low RPM right now so we can make it there. Because after it gets to a higher RPM, uh, it don't want to get nowhere. So we're keeping it at a low RPM right now. And we're just cruising. And hopefully, we'll make it there. So I'll see y'all when we make it. We're probably got the Tahoe back in the bank. Tahoe's running real quick. So we're about to get out of here. So I'm back. Um, it's been a few days since I made the last the last part, but uh, I skipped a few days. Uh, we had issues with the shop or whatever, like not shop issues, but personal issues, whatever. So I didn't get to help them personally, so they was, they did it by themselves. The truck should be at the shop today, and uh, my dad didn't tell me that he was putting the cats back on my truck, so it's gonna sound a lot different and. It won't be as loud, but it'll still, I got what, what's gonna come do now, it's gonna come out the motor and then to the cats and then my cherry bomb I got down there. So now I get to see how it sounds now. It's gonna surprise me a lot. It won't be as loud, but I'm gonna miss it. So I might just have to take the cherry bomb off if it's too quiet. <laughs> so, but I'll keep y'all updated whatever and I'll get back with y'all whenever my truck gets out of the guys. Um, yesterday it started raining. So, um, I got a little bit of footage of it, but not much. So, um, this will be just part one. And then I'll post part two tomorrow or whenever it starts raining. And I'll give you an update on the truck. So, y'all like, subscribe, and make sure you turn that notification button on so you know when I uh, upload. Y'all have a good one.